what is up guys it's your boy Brian and we're back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the check engine light code for an evap leak on your 2019 to 2020 Dodge Durango mine has had the code on for about a couple months already and it's been driving me crazy I haven't had time to figure out the problem till I figured out I think it is so what we got here, we're gonna remove this cover. We just literally pulled it off. All you gotta do is pry it off. It just snaps into those little clips. You pry it off, and just set it to the side. And maybe we're gonna give it a little wash because it's dirty. Dusty. Yeah, this whole engine bay is dusty. But we're gonna be swapping out this valve here, this whole line. This line over here too, with the sensor. This line right here goes to the back. I don't think we need to swap that one out. Hopefully that's not the one that's leaking, but we can tell these, one of these is leaking. So we're gonna end up swapping them all out. And as for tools, I don't think we're gonna need any tools. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do first. I'm gonna show you guys the parts that I ordered where I want to go to the Dodge dealership. Here we got that hose that I was talking to you guys about. Here's a part number. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a part number for that. And over here, we got our EVAP valve. Here's a part number for that. And we got our little, little switch air valve check valve we got those here so now let's let's get to it we're gonna pull those parts out all right so first off you can tell we're just gonna try this one out thing was on there. Now, we got this clip right here. You got to just push in, pull it out, pull that sucker out. Let's see what else we got here. And this green one. Just push these two clips inside, and pull out. That should be it for that. So now what we do? Move this out. Take this sucker out. We're gonna swap it out. We're gonna add the other one in there. And we're gonna see. Hopefully that fixes the issue. So we got this one out. Now what we're gonna do is remove our our other part, which is this over here. This little clip. Okay, so as you guys can see, I pulled this little red clip off of there. And we had to slide this little white clip. I don't know if you guys can see right there. The little white clip. I had to slide it out in order for this to come out. Now we gotta remove it from the clip that it has over here. Okay guys, so we got this out. Now let's move the fuel line out of the way. Get this one out of here. This is the old line. I'm guessing maybe there's an evap leak somewhere around here. Oh yeah, look. I think this is where it's at. It's kind of worn down. All these are the old parts. Now let's set them over here. What I'm going to go ahead and do first is install this into this one before I even install it in the truck that's why it's on there already okay so this is where this other part goes in here what we gotta do is push these little clips in you see when we push them in they open up we're gonna push that in and we're gonna put this part in now we're gonna go ahead and install everything back in these are the new parts 
we're gonna do we're gonna basically repeat the same process we we're doing I'm gonna slide it in under the fuel rail install it exactly right there I'll slide this in there it clips that all the way down. Once it clips in, we just saw, clipped it in, and we're gonna put our clip back in there so it can't slide out. We got our clip in. I'm gonna slide this into the hole. In there, all right. Now, we're gonna go ahead and install our other part number. You guys need to go purchase this for your truck. This is the part number. This guy right here. As you can tell it just sits in there. And this goes in. We're gonna install it in. First we're gonna clip it in. Make sure we hit our two little green clips. Make sure it clicks in all the way. We wanna make sure we don't have a leak. Once it clicks in all the way. We're gonna install it. We're gonna plug our sensor sensor back in. Make sure that clicks in all the way. We're gonna put it in here. Make sure it sits down all the way. The one of the leaks happening. And that should do it. It's all done and fixed. This literally this process shouldn't take you longer than maybe 20 to 25 minutes it didn't take me that long even though I was recording you guys can tell we did it we swapped it out now what I need to do is erase the check engine light and hope it doesn't come back on all right guys if you guys like the video make sure you hit that like comment and subscribe button down below catch you guys on the next video later